Today we're back out here on Hirschfelden and we're going to be taking out the new electronic game caller for some wild boar. All right, so we're just arriving at our first location here and we already spotted a couple wild boar on the way in. They're right in front of us here, so we had to go low. But, oh, right there, right there. Got a sow coming in the back. We already did see two males out in the front. Right there's one. Got a fox out there trotting around. Another female there. And another fox out there as well. We could potentially call them in also. So that's pretty cool. But our tripod is set up right over here. As you can see right there, that is our game caller. And our tripod is right over there. All right, we just got up into our tripod and take a look at where these wild boar are at. They're less than 50 yards away from us, right here. But now we're gonna put the collar on and see if we can't get him to come in just a little bit closer. I still haven't exactly made up my mind on what we're gonna be using to take the shot, but we do have, of course, the recurve bow. There's a fox, a couple geese over there. We have the recurve bow and we also have the AR-308 and I do believe we have the 44 lever action as well. But I'm thinking what might be ideal here is maybe the 10 millimeter pistol. I mean, they're gonna come right past here over to our collar right behind us and we're gonna have a perfect win. So yeah, we just might try and take them all down with the 10 millimeter Glock. Got a male there male there and all female there maybe we should take down the one in the back first let's do that I'd say we did pretty decent. I mean, yeah, they ran away, but we got some good hits. Alrighty, let's hop down, grab the tripod, and then we'll head over to track down some of these wild boar. I'm curious how many we got. I'm gonna say we got for sure three, potentially four. But here we go. We got a vital hit here, vital hit there, vital hit there. Um, this one's dropped right here. I don't think many of them really went too far. Perfect brain and skull shot 53 yards out. That was the female that we took kind of far away. We got one stacked up here, another one stacked up here, and another one stacked up here. That is what we like to see. We ended up taking down four wild boar out of that herd. And there was only five. So that basically means... Only one got away. Look at that, a running lung shot there, 42 yards out, very, very nice shot placement. And then we got this one laying right here as well. And that was a skull, then running liver lung shot, 38 yards away. And let's see if we did in fact hit this wild boar. So far, it's not looking too good. I'm not seeing one single drop of blood. Nope, it appears to be a clean miss. So that's not a bad thing. Clean miss is way better than getting a bad hit into a wild boar. So we'll just kind of head over here and see if we can't locate this boar. If not, then we'll probably run into a new herd and try and call them in as well. Well, we got a roe deer taken off there. Look to be a somewhat of a decent buck. I'm not sure if we're going to get a shot off or not, but another one just took off over there. He is hit. He's definitely hit. I don't know how good though. And another one. How in the heck did we pull off a shot on that thing? Oh. 
We got a track from a max weight fallow deer around here as well. So we got to be careful as to not go blasting away at a potentially 220 plus fallow buck. Well, I don't know exactly where that area is, but we are going to take down this decent fallow buck out here. Right there. All right, we'll take him down. And see if we can't find that wild boar. Not sure exactly where he went. But he can't be too much further ahead. All right, decent fellow, 175. And we need 187 to be gold, so he didn't miss by much. We just hit the absolute jackpot on wild boar. I just saw five or six of them going right through there. I'm not sure if there's any big males in there, but there's definitely quite a few of them. Unfortunately, we did in fact spook quite a few of them as well. Right there, right there! Big male. Real nice male. He's actually gold potential. About 100 yards out. And what we could potentially do is set up the collar right here. Then we'll get over and tuck in this brush here. Maybe we'll be able to call on this wild boar right past us. Let's get this collar going because they're starting to move. Alright, let's see what happens. Is it going to work? Well, he's right there. And... Well, I guess they're going to rest right next to us here. Which isn't exactly ideal, but... I suppose in that case, we should probably try and get closer. I'm not sure how we're going to get these things to come in. I mean, aside from, you know, the obvious. <laughs> Centered that rock, dude. That was perfect. Well, that'll definitely get their attention. Let's get some cover. There we go. There we go. All right. Come this way. Come on. Hear the call and come into the call. There we go, there we go. You know you want to come. Yeah, you do. All right. We got his interest. Oh, here they come. We found the rest of them, guys. Oh my God. Oh, huge boar, huge boar. Oh my God, a giant level four coming in. Holy, that thing's huge. All right, that is the one that we want. That is our main focus right now. He's right there, 100 yards out from us. Let's go prone. We'll tuck in here a little bit better. <laughs> I love the fact that we can still see the tracer right in the middle of that huge boulder there. And that was such a perfect shot. All right, so he's got some huge tusks. And he's actually a cool looking boar as well. Just a giant. There's even another one coming in too. Um, we might be able to take down one of these boar. Oh. Yeah, we might be able to take one down right now without our big boar spooking. This one's 25 yards out from us. So we're going to try and take her down. In fact, we don't have a choice but to try and take her down. Luckily, we made a perfect shot. And she dropped right there. For some reason, I'm not sure why these other wild boar are bedding down. They are legitly bedding down right next to us. So I don't know if it's because the call wore off or something. <laughs> Look at this. Our huge boar just bedded down less than 50 yards away from us. Right there. Look at the size of toss on that thing. Oh my god, those are huge. I feel like they must have gotten an update where the tusks got a lot bigger than what they used to be. Because that is massive. I hear them. Oh, it's not a male, it's a friggin' fox. Dude, a fox has come right past us. That actually might work out perfect. 35 yards. <laughs> and he died! 
talk about a money shot right there? Perfect shot. All right. Let's get this caller going again. And get this big old boar to come in. What do you say? Wow. We just smoked that fox on the walk at 35 yards. Oh, our big boar is still over there bedded. There's the other male I was looking for. I was hoping he was going to come into the call, but... Uh, Apparently, he feels like sleeping is a better choice at this point. <sighs> Which, I can't blame him. Pretty good choice. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. He's getting up. He's getting up. We need to get his attention. Ah, don't go back to sleep. Come on. <laughs> this is something else. It really is something else at this point. I mean, he's so close, but yet so far. I honestly feel like at this point, what we should do is turn the collar off and just belly crawl as close to that boar as we possibly can. Then we'll crouch up and take the shot. Or we could just get a little bit closer then we'll turn the collar back on and see if just maybe he gets up and walks right past us. That's also another option. Meanwhile, we're going to swing by here and pick up this boar. Ended up getting a neck skull and brain shot at 12 yards away. So great thing we made a perfect shot on her because otherwise this whole herd could have spooked. Luckily for us, they're still just chilling. And right now we're less than 40 yards out from this giant boar. He's right there, 35 yards out from us. We have a perfect wind, a little bit of cover. We have a tree right between us and him. Things are looking pretty decent for us here. But these things are smart, incredibly smart. So we gotta be very careful as to what we do next. Whoa, 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 He's up, he's up, he's up. Oh my god! We hit him good, but a little bit far back. I don't think we even saved him. I don't think we got him. Oh my god. Aggressive! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! I can't believe we messed up that shot. I'm a little bit let down the fact that we didn't make a perfect shot on that one. Oh, come on! If he would have just heard the call and came into it, everything would have worked out so much better. But the cool thing is, that's almost exactly what happened yesterday where the Cape Buffalo started trotting off like that, except for the differences, their vitals are a little bit bigger. So when we took the shot and he started walking like that, we actually ended up getting a liver lung shot. But pretty much the exact same thing happened. All right, let's go over here and track down our huge wild boar that we made a decent shot, but did in fact get him a little bit too far back than what we would have liked. We saw him run over here. And that's pretty much the last place that we saw him. Yep, right over here. What do we got? That's a rock. He's laying right here. He's laying right here and he's going to be a 135. So he was absolutely massive. Oh, you got to be freaking kidding me. We literally hit the liver, the back of the liver and intestine on the walk at 28 yards. If we were a half inch more left, we would have had a liver shot and he would have went down almost instantly. 
And the follow-up shot, we were a little too far in front of him. But then again, with that angle there, it's super difficult. He was only 50 yards out? Wow. Yeah, if we would have held, like, right here, probably would have been a perfect shot. But then again, who knows? We might have hit that back hind quarter. Uh, nonetheless, we still got a huge wild boar. We still got a huge boar down. And he ended up scoring 135, and he weighed 450 pounds. But look at the size of the tusks on that thing. To be able to take him on the walk with the recurve open sights, you know what? I'll take it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. This is a bit unfortunate, the fact that we didn't make a perfect shot with the recurve, but... Let alone, I mean, we could have even saved him with the AR-308 and I would have still been at least a little bit happy with that. End result. We got another one down here. And then there's one more that did take off. Oh, the fox! I want to check on that fox. Okay, there's the female. Got her in the intestine. Which did end up taking her down and... I thought we had another boar somewhere. There's the other male track, but tch, take a look at that shot. Got him on the walk, 35 yard. Perfect double lung shot on that fox.